Hi world, this is Rebemus. I'm doing a spoiler based anime slash fantasy slash fa fictional characters mix. Yes, this is going to be spoilers again. So, as, then, as I said before, if you don't want to have any spoilers for basically anything I watch or anything, or anything I mention, I'll try to put the tags and things below. Um, on my side. But, you know, I was thinking, what if Korra and Naruto and Gon took on Iron Crad with the full abilities going straight up from strip growth to growth? So that means starting as getting for um, Naruto with Team 7. And Korra starting with just the elements and then learning through and getting all the elements and spirit bending. Now let's see. They would have some kind of strong abilities. Though this is sort of online, they're technically supposed to be only using swords, but we're stretching it just a tiny bit to make this work. So they would have their full abilities. So Naruto would have kunai, Sasuke would have shuriken, Sasuke would also learn shuriken. Yeah. Now, they would do okay. Yes, the first boss battle would be difficult. The other things. Now, if we also include Kakashi, that would help. I guarantee you, though, he would be able to predict where the attacks were and then things. So, but gone. Mmm, God is fast and can hit a bit. But it looks like some of these monsters, you know, are taking things. It would be a matter of could God outrun, out dodge any attacks of these monsters and I can kind of throw it at them. Things. But another interesting challenge would be bending battles. Um, whatever they call that one. Pro bending. Right. Like, and taking someone like Naruto, who is wind based. So, according to the rules, so he wouldn't have his weapons. All he'd have is his jutsus. And he's gonna punch him. So, unless he had Rising Gun, or um, Shadow Clones, which wouldn't work because that means he's crossing the line. So actually, Naruto would not work so well for preventing. Sakura, some, though they might kick her out because her tendency to be able to, you know, break things, you know, <laughs> is problematic. So, I mean, but Korra, because that's it, her native universe, would be fine. As we saw in episodes six or so and such and up, was she, um, competed. <laughs> I don't look confused with the referee, so. But, as you can tell, not all anime characters mix across universes. Like, if we took Naruto and put him in Generator Rex's world. So his abilities were great. He could beat up the Evos just fine, but wouldn't he have a little difficulty? Final moves, he he can knock them out real good. Then they had to actually capture them, things, and rehabilitate them. And yeah, that requires that somebody else who has things. Now. Kevin Levin would do okay in some of these challenges. We already know that cheating exams, he probably figured out the cheating test. Might figure out the ink test in time. Gwen would probably just whoop. Purple pattern underneath her and just go float. Step, 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 step. Ben would just go whatever flying. What could you need? But. That requires that he gets the right one. Because remember, Lamy Tricks and Ultimate Tricks and all those 
do fizzle on him. For some reason. I think that... Not you go into storyline for, but I believe that was because... The creator wanted to make sure he could... You know, stretch with it. Um... Oh, yeah! So when you go into the other challenges, like, what would happen if these anime characters took on real-life jobs? Some they do real well at, some not so much. And just think what would happen if Sarko ended up doing with angry customers all day. That would not be good. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm not sure we want the Hulk working retail or fast food. He might break something. <laughs> but, um, there's definitely, um, a lot of opportunities for discussion here on this topic. And I might bring this up again, or I might go. What I'm thinking this next video will be Vox Machina Romance. I'm going to get into that another video. I hope you all have a great day. Thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing to my channel.